is Luke. This is Michael. Today we're in Newport, Rhode Island. Now I know what you're thinking, gentle viewers. Newport, Rhode Island. Not really a budget-friendly place. A lot of money. Yachts, mansions, and colleges disguised as country clubs. But we're on our way to a place that I hear has some pretty cheap seafood. Right, Luke? Not sure if it's true, but check it out. Hit us up, Clam Shack. In disguise. Here we are at the Clam Shack. What are you thinking, Captain? It's looking like, you can look at the menu, three clam cakes, small chowder, $8. It's tricking you because you can actually get a small and a half dozen, which is three more clams, clam cakes, for only a dollar more. If you're not into math, you better get into it. To be a budgetarian, you gotta use your noggin. So here at the, the, the Clam Shack. Right by the wharf. A little parking lot, but nonetheless. But they hide the parking lot with, uh, you know. Elegant like black man. Yeah, it's like right in the heart of the city. A little reggae music in the background. Reggae. I got the fish and chips for eight dollars. I got the small clam chowder as well as half a dozen clam cakes for a total of nine dollars. How much was the lobster roll? Not worth the budgeteers. The what? The budgetarians. Oh, I thought you called us the budgeteers. Actually, doesn't sound bad. Yeah, the budgeteers. Cheers to the budgeteers. The budgeteers have finished their meal, and now we're gonna we're gonna discuss. Our verdict. So our three categories are taste, value, and vibe. The highest rating in each category is a five. It was decent, but ultimately the fish and chips average. So I'm gonna give it two in the taste category. I'm enjoying myself. I like the reggae. Um, still kind of simple, so I'm gonna give it a three. Not really what I would call a cheap eat, but considering that we're in Newport and we're right by the wharf, it, it was pretty inexpensive, so I'll also give it a three. I'm gonna start with the easiest one in my opinion, which would be the vibe. I'm gonna agree with Michael, go with the three. Um, good atmosphere, reggae, big fan, but nobody's here. So that's kind of concerning for people who want to walk and die. Nobody's there, something's uh, wrong. I'm gonna say a three in the taste. Uh, I enjoy it. The clam chowder is one of the best I've ever had. But the clam cakes, not much of clam. Um, yeah, it's called a hush clam puppies. Cake. Yeah, hush puppies. It's, we're not hush hush about it. We're telling everybody. Um, <laughs> I paid nine nine sixty for my meal to be specific. I'd say it was a three as well. Michael's total score was an eight. Mine was a nine. The average of two. Out of fifteen, we're gonna give we're gonna give the clam track an eight and a half. Not a bad, not a bad start, but um, let's see, we got a lot of work. So next time. Hi, my name is Elizabeth, and I'd like to give my endorsement of the budgeteers. Their lifestyle is perfect, and one day I strive to be a budgeteer like Michael and Luke. Have the budgeteers changed your life? They haven't. They are very committed to finding reasonably priced food that. Still satisfies. How do the budgeteers change your life? I thought it was vegetarian. Oh, we changed it. So how do the budgeteers uh, change your life? I've never heard of the budgeteers. I don't know who they are. Oh, gosh. You helped me change my life. <laughs> what else was I supposed to say? You helped me change my life and <laughs> by finding, helping me find <laughs> cheap places to eat so I didn't have to call my dad to ask for money. 